नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण डिसेमिनेटिंग टेक्स्ट सेवन एंड टेक्स्ट एट ऑफ चैप्टर सेवन द सन ऑफ द्रोण पनिश्ड ऑफ फर्स्ट कैंटो क्रिएशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स सेवन यस्याम वै श्रूयमाणायाम कृष्णे परम पुरुषे भक्ति ऋत पद्यते कुमस शोक मोह भया पहा सिंपली बाय गिविंग oral reception to this vedic literature the feeling for loving devotional service to lord krishna the supreme personality of godhead sprouts up at once to extinguish the fire of lamentation illusion and fearfulness there are various senses of which the ear is the most effective this sense works even when a man is deep asleep one can protect himself from the hands of an enemy while awake but while asleep one is protected by the ear only the importance of hearing is mentioned here in connection with attaining the highest perfection of life namely getting free from three material pangs everyone is full of lamentation at every moment he is after the mirage of illusory things and he is always afraid of his supposed enemy these are the primary symptoms of material disease and it is definitely suggested here in that simply by hearing the message of shrimad bhagavatam one gets attachment for the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna and as soon as this is effected the symptoms of the material diseases disappear shri navyas dev saw the all perfect personality of godhead and in this statement the all perfect personality of godhead shri krishna is clearly confirmed the ultimate result of devotional service is to develop genuine love for the supreme personality love is a word which is often used in relation with man and woman and love is the only word that can be properly used to indicate the relation between lord krishna and the living entities the living entities are mentioned as prakruti in the bhagavad gita and in sanskrit prakruti is a feminine object the lord is always described as the parama purusha or the supreme male personality thus the affection between the lord and the living entities is something like that between the male and the female therefore the term love of godhead is quite appropriate loving devotional service to the lord begins with hearing about the lord there is no difference between the lord and the subject matter heard about him the lord is absolute in all respects and thus there is no difference between him and the subject matter heard about him therefore hearing about him means immediate contact with him by the process of vibration of the transcendental sound and the transcendental sound is so effective that it acts at once by removing all material affections mentioned above as mentioned before a living entity develops a sort of complexity by material association and the illusory engagement of the material body is accepted as an actual fact under such false complexity the living beings under different categories of life become illusioned in different ways even in the most developed stage of human life the same illusion prevails in the form of many isms and divides the loving relation with the lord and thereby divides the loving relation between man and man by hearing the subject matter of shrimad bhagavatam this false complexity of materialism is removed and real peace in society begins which politicians aspire for so eagerly in so many political situations the politicians want a peaceful situation between man and man and nation and nation but at the same time because of too much attachment for material domination there is illusion and fearfulness therefore the politicians peace conferences cannot bring about peace in society it can only be done by hearing the subject matter described in the shrimad bhagavatam about the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna the foolish politicians may go on holding peace and summit conferences for hundreds of years but they will fail to achieve success 
until we reach the stage of re-establishing our lost relation with Krishna, the illusion of accepting the body as the self will prevail and thus fearfulness will also prevail. As for the validity of Shri Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, there are hundreds and thousands of evidences from revealed scriptures and there are hundreds and thousands of evidences from personal experiences of devotees in various places like Brindavan, Navadvipa and Puri. Even in the Kaumudi dictionary, the synonyms of Krishna are given as the son of Yashoda and the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Parabrahma. The conclusion is that simply by hearing the Vedic literature Srimad Bhagavatam, one can have direct connection with the Supreme Personality of Godhead Shri Krishna and thereby one can attain the highest perfection of life by transcending worldly miseries, illusion and fearfulness. These are practical tests for one who has actually given a submissive hearing to the readings of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Text 8 Sa Samhitam Bhagavatim Krutuvanu Kramya Chatmajam Shukamadhya Payamasa Nivrutti Niratam Muniha. The great sage Vyasdev, after compiling the Srimad Bhagavatam and revising it, taught it to his own son, Srila Shukdev Goswami, who was already engaged in self realization. Srimad Bhagavatam is the natural commentation on the Brahma Sutras compiled by the same author. This Brahma Sutra or Vedanta Sutra is meant for those who are already engaged in self realization. Srimad Bhagavatam is so made that one becomes at once engaged in the path of self realization simply by hearing the topics. Although it is especially meant for the Paramhansas or those who are totally engaged in self realization, it works into the depths of the hearts of those who may be worldly men. Worldly men are all engaged in sense gratification, but even such men will find in this Vedic literature a remedial measure for their material diseases. Shukdeva Goswami was a liberated soul from the very beginning of his birth and his father taught him Srimad Bhagavatam. Amongst mundane scholars, there is some diversity of opinion as to the date of compilation of Srimad Bhagavatam. It is however certain from the text of the Bhagavatam that it was compiled before the disappearance of King Parikshit and after the departure of Lord Krishna. When Maharaj Parikshit was ruling the world as the king of Bharata Varsha, he chastised the personality of Kali. According to revealed scriptures and astrological calculation, the age of Kali is in its 5000th year. Therefore, Srimad Bhagavatam was compiled not less than 5000 years ago. Mahabharat was compiled before Srimad Bhagavatam and the Puranas were compiled before Mahabharat. That is an estimation of the date of compilation of the different Vedic literatures. The synopsis of Srimad Bhagavatam was given before the detailed description under instruction of Narad. Srimad Bhagavatam is the science for following the path of Nivrutti Marga. The path of Pravrutti Marga was condemned by Narada. That path is the natural inclination for all conditioned souls. The theme of Srimad Bhagavatam is the cure of the materialistic disease of the human being or stopping completely the pangs of material existence. Thank you.